Yeah, so here's where we left off. So let's um, go in and take care about that other piece. So I'll go here to show and say NURBS surfaces and select that object here. And again, let's convert that to a polygon. So up here on a modify, convert, let's go to the options box again, NURBS to polygons. And this is still set to quads and count and a thousand. So let's apply that. Okay, so it's looking all right. So let's go here and again, um, turn off the NURBS surfaces. And then let me hit Alt H to hide everything else, uh, everything that you haven't selected. And now we do the same as we did with the first piece. So go here to edge mode, select that edge loop here, go to mesh, say fill hole, select that face, and go here to edit mesh, poke face, okay, and let's um, extrude that, click on that blue box here, and then scale that in from the center, somewhere about here, and then let's insert an edge loop somewhere about here. Uh, let's uh, see how that looks if we smooth that guy. Hit 3. Let me turn off wireframe on shaded. Okay, we got a little issue here, up here. Um, let's go in and say under display show all. So yeah, that's um, something that we won't see in the end. So if you take a look from the top view, uh, let's turn off uh, NURBS curves and NURBS surfaces here as well. So yeah, obviously this thing here has to be scaled out, out a little bit more. So let's let's do this by taking a lattice. So select all of those and then go here to animation and create a lattice. And let's set the a S divisions To something like three, and then uh, select the lattice point, especially those two here, and, and let's, let's select all of those four here. Move this in this direction, and then we might want to move this back a little. Bit. Okay, so now, again, uh, I hope my Maya doesn't crash, so let me save the scene first. Save scene as. And then, uh, yeah, crossing fingers, uh, let me delete the history. Oh, that worked this time. Okay, so let's uh, smooth that guy out still looking good. So now let's go in and we do the same on that other piece here. So we have to scale that up. So let's go to vertex mode and let's select all those vertices and again let's create a deformer a lattice and again let's uh, give it a div S division of uh, 3 and then select the lattice point and then we select all of those and move those yeah right right there so almost intersecting here and we could go in and if we have the lattice here in place 
move this guy here close to that point and then take this one here move it into position and let's uh, check that out so again um, let me hit one to go to low poly view and I'm saving that out right now and delete the history yeah that worked out nice okay so now hit alt H to go to uh, to hide everything else in the scene so hit three okay and then let's take care about the other side here so select that object we do the same stuff here so again select that edge loop here and say under polygons mesh fill hole select that face here edit mesh poke face with the faces selected extrude click on that click on that blue box here from that scale tool and then scale that in somewhere about here okay and then let's insert an edge loop somewhere here then let's uh, take that guy and smooth it out okay yeah like I said before so this uh, little issue here on that edge you won't see that later on I mean we could go in and smooth that out but if you don't see it don't uh, waste the time uh, doing stuff that, we, that you don't need okay so now let's um, show all again so I've got a button here on my shelf and let's check that out it's looking it's looking good okay so now we are ready to take this guy and um, duplicate that so it's got uh, its pivot here in the center of the grid which is fine and the scale here is right so hit control D and scale that negative one in X and then select both objects it's something that we did do a lot here in this tutorial and combine that and select the vertices in the center and it doesn't matter if you have selected more if your merge settings are right so and merge and now we get one object here if we smooth that guy out looks good okay so now we take this guy here and yeah what we could do is um, create an instance so we created other instances here and the, the advantage of that is if you tweak some words later on you only have to tweak one yeah so let's go in here under edit the duplicate special tool and let's set this to instance and you can parent that or whatever you want to it doesn't really matter in this case and then let's um, set this here to zero by the rotation and we want the scale a negative one in X so you have to type in negative one here number of copies one and say check the okay say apply and there you go so like I said before the the advantage of um, of an instance is um, so if we later uh, don't like that shape here or want to tweak something we go in here and select the original one and as you can see if you change vertices here that's doing the same on on the instance okay so I didn't mention that the when we instanced um, some other parts here on top of that watch okay so yeah with that done um, we have the connection of the wristband uh, done so far so now we take care about um, the other pieces that um, yeah um, will be the the main part of that wristband okay yeah so let me pause the video and see you in the next one